Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be talking about mixing ABS and TPU, or how ABS and TPU don't mix. So, I thought about, should I do this video or not? Because, um, kind of long story short, you cannot mix ABS with TPU, but for that very fact, I decided I should probably do this video. Now I'll be running off to the side some time lapses that I did of trying to mix ABS and TPU together. And one of the things you can see here, this is a 50% uh, pawn. I could not get the TPU to extrude uh, with ABS. Now I've done a bunch of others as you'll as you've already seen and as you will see in the series, but for some reason the TPU simply will not extrude with the ABS. Now one of the things you notice is you get a pretty nice looking part so and this is at 50% um, you know of feed because obviously 50% ABS 50% uh, TPU in this case I ran this six different times. I tried different temperatures. I primed the TPU um, each time also. Uh, one time I even took the Bowden tube off and pushed PETG through to make sure there was no plugs. Uh, because at first I thought that simply what happened is the nozzle became plugged, so I cleaned it out and everything. But the ABS comes out fine. Now, I think part of the problem here is actually the, the viscosity of the ABS versus that of the TPU. Because I even tried forcing the TPU through the Bowden tube by hand, and it simply wouldn't come out the other end so long as there was ABS in the mix. The PETG and other filaments I would attempt to push through uh, actually did. And this is what I want to talk a little bit about here too is the different types of materials in, in actually mixing because this is really it's sort of mixing but it's really not it's really combining two filaments and, and I kind of want to talk about the mechanism in this video about how these uh, filaments are actually combined in this mixing uh, because I want to tip this up so I'm not getting the glare from the overhead lights however what we have is actually two cold breaks so we have the, the filaments coming into both cold breaks so there are two Bowden tubes from two extruders and then what happens is when they come down to the hot end that's when they're melted and melted together now as I spoke about in the prior video this takes a lot of energy because we actually have two different filaments coming in to this hot end and, and being melted and now although we're kind of pushing one two one two uh, it, it's still literally we're having to melt about double the plastic and this really takes a lot of energy and this really kind of if you watch the um, temperature it bounces around quite a bit I, I don't know if the pits could be adjusted a little bit more to make that better or not uh, probably something I'll play with in the future, but this is clearly a situation here. But also the pieces, um, and another viewer wrote, actually, kind of what I was thinking is the viscosity of the filament itself is going to have, have an impact because what has to happen is the is the each filament has to be able to compete with the other filament as it enters the hot end and if one of the filaments has more viscous than the other that's simply not going to happen and i think that's the case with the tpu and the abs in this case because of the viscosity of the abs uh, the tpu simply couldn't push it it would just simply melt and back up into the cold break and then eventually jamming the extruder so I, I you know each of the six times I'd take the extruder apart clean it out and it would just simply chew up the filament so clearly a problem because that's the other piece I want to talk about here this is really a five axis machine which is very interesting in itself because as I kind of covered out in the very first one with uh, PLA and TPU the synchronization between the two filaments is rather interesting because as one pushes then the other one will push so it's not that each one I don't think are being pushed simultaneously I think one gets pushed in the other then back and forth in sort of a, a ratcheting motion if you will but this because this really makes it a five axis machine if you think about it because you have an X, Y, a Z and an A and a B so extruder 0 and extruder 1 so all this has to be driven by the firmware and onboard computing 
And so this is one of the situations, I think, uh, you know, in, in doing a true mixing printer, what you actually need is the ability to have both extruders push simultaneously. Now, if you went in a non-50-50 mix, um, you know, one of the things that you would have to do is be able to, you know, two pulses, one pulse, one pulse, two pulses, whatever type mixing. But even if you tried to step these together, uh, you would have to probably work something out in firmware so they stepped in, in, in synchronicity, if you will. The other piece is I don't think the hot end is a very good hot end for true mixing. Um, you know, I haven't taken this apart, but I'm guessing it's just a Venturi where, where both of these come down and, you know, two channels form into one and just by pressure and, and proxy, some of this is going to be mixed up. And you can kind of really see that in some of the prior ones, um, especially I think it was with the uh, uh, PEG and TPU, you could really see sort of the mix in there when we looked at it underneath the microscope. So, anyways... Uh, I knew there'd be some questions about, hey, what about ABS and TPU? Well, here you go. Six tries and I could not get it to work. Now, I've done other ones after this and it works fine. So long as the filament is, is a competitive filament, viscous-wise, with the ABS, it will push through. If it's not competitive viscous-wise with the ABS, it, it just simply won't push through. So. Hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget the subscribe button and bell over there for notifications when I put out new videos. Swag Shop's up in the corner. And hey, we'll see you in the next video where we combine some other filaments. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on